Zebra Bird, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where we try a new game every episode. Today we're taking a look at Pac-Man 99, a brand new free game that Nintendo Switch Online. Of course, in the same style of Tetris 99 and Super Mario Bros. 35, this one looks super interesting because I guess it's 99 players, you included, playing Pac-Man all at the same time, trying to see who can win. As you can see with this front one on the front here, 99 battle, 99 man battle royale against players from around the world. So let's see how this goes. Play data from online battles, maybe shared. Okay, I don't care. That's fine. So I don't even remember the last time I've played Pac-Man before, but of course it's a classic game. And this is really cool to see that we're getting like another classic arcade puzzle type game um, that we can play with people online. It's just really interesting to see. Now we've had Tetris, Mario, and Pac-Man, which I feel like are some of the like, the three biggest titles in like classic gaming. So that's just really cool to see. All right, so not exactly, like I didn't really look at any information in this game. It looks, I'm just sort of going into it with my knowledge of how, whoa, I don't know what the little ghosts, oh, they make more ghosts. But yeah, just my basic knowledge of Pac-Man, my basic knowledge of how Tester 79 and Mario 35 worked. But um, if you don't know how Pac-Man works, um, very popular game from the 1980s in arcades. Um, basically, you're the little yellow guy picking up these pellets, and our goal is to pick up the big flashing one that'll turn all the ghosts that typically knock us out into more vulnerable things. What is this? Now, these little symbols, I'm not really sure what those do. Um, okay, uh, gotta be careful, because now that the ghosts are like sort of normal, they will try to get me. I don't know what those are. Those little ones that are just like, there, oh my, come on. Got it? Maybe they're like other players? That would be weird, why would they be seeing these? Oh no, I gotta take it out! Uh oh. <laughs> so as you can see, our ranking 71, maybe I'll have the best start. I need to improve my Pac-Man skills. But while that's happening, there were like other things to select, similar to Tetris 99. So I wanna pay attention to that this time and see how it goes. Of course, there's some people out there that are really, really good at Pac-Man, and I'm sure that we're going against some of them. So I'm not expecting to win anything in today's video. It's just sort of fun to check this out. It'd be cool if there was like a tutorial somewhere. Maybe we should have looked for that. But I mean, you know, at the least, I know how to play Pac-Man. <laughs> so I can sort of at least participate to some amount. Okay, here we go. So on the left, we have standard, stronger, speed, and train. I don't know what that means. Like, I can't move right now. Um, oh no, I was supposed to run buttons, that's why. Um, I don't know what any of that means. Uh, let's go for speed. Oh, we got the cherry. No, wait, wait, wait. I feel like the controls like just like don't work sometimes. That might have been me though. Oh, maybe it's the control type. Oh, I think it is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. On the right though, you can see probably who we're focusing. Like we have knockout, we have hunter counter. Um, I usually go for knockout. What that's probably gonna do is focus players that are close to getting knocked out. Definitely worth taking them out. The little Pac-Man's in the way though. What they might end up being is it looks like they sort of slow me down a little bit. Hmm. Oh no, oh, 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 <laughs> that was a close one. But yeah, I'd love to hear if you've tried this game yet. What are your thoughts on uh, Pac-Man 99 so far? Honestly, I think these are a really cool addition to Nintendo Switch Online. You know, just being able to play this for free and against people. Okay, remaining 50 left, that's much better than last time. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Gotcha. Trying to be careful of these guys. Now, yeah, this is, at the least, very visually con confusing and they certainly slow you down. All right, let's get moving. So I'm guessing picking up all those ghosts and eating them is gonna send them all to other players. Oh my. Hitting the pellet, I, I think it's typically called a power pellet, sends all those other little Pac-Mans away, which I think is what we're sending to other players, are those little Pac-Mans maybe. Because they still send, they're definitely like a big obstruction. All right, we're down to 40 people. What's cool too is you can go through here and you pop out on the other side. Oh my, no! You see that ghost caught up to me because there's just too many of them. That's crazy. So I'm sort of getting the idea of it a little bit more there. But that was much better. We got a rank up. I think we placed like 30 something, or rank two. We placed 39th, not too bad. All right then, so let's uh, go ahead and go to the main menu really quickly. I do want to poke around and see if there's maybe more to do. Um, Like there's a CPU battle. I think a lot of this stuff you can pay for and you unlock 
more stuff for it. So you can purchase game packs with new themes and stuff along with it. Um, I think some more like single player modes, which is cool and everything. Maybe we'll consider checking that out if we want to play more of it. But for right now, the single player is, or the multiplayer is enough for me. Yeah, you have to don't want to do a private match. Okay then, so yeah, let's go back into it. No tutorial here, which is what I was hoping for was like some kind of tutorial, but it's fine. I think we, we've mostly gotten the hang of it. So let's see if we can't do even better this time. Maybe we can get within the top 30 instead of the top 40. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, let's go for it. But it's very interesting, because of course, you know, at this point, Pac-Man is an older game. I wonder how many people have played Pac-Man 99 as, oh wow, the pouch re refill. I, I was trying to get all of them, but okay. Maybe that's what the fruit does, is it refills all the little tiny pellets. But uh, I wonder how many people played Pac-Man 99 as like their first experience playing Pac-Man. Like that's really cool to think about, in my opinion. Let's definitely grab all of that, and this is where we gotta be careful. But it looks like timing picking up our power pellets is gonna be a big thing. Ooh, very good. Uh, yeah, let's go for this guy. Then I can pick up another fruit, and like, yeah, that definitely like refills everything when it comes to the normal pellets, which is really good orange guys hit chasing me. And I know that they all have like different names. Uh, I, I don't remember right now what their names were. Maybe I'll look that up between rounds. Oh boy. All right, remaining 50 left. Let's get you, oh, no, no, wait, hold on, turn it back here. No, oh my gosh, that was close. That was super duper close. So if it feels like I'm running out of pellets, like I can go ahead and grab this super version and then get this. Be sure to get rid of you as well. Because the fruit is really useful for that. So I'm trying to turn left there. The D-pad isn't the best for playing Pac-Man, I gotta be honest. Of course, the original Pac-Man would have been played on a, uh, Arcade Machine Joystick. Which is probably still the most optimal way to play back now. Whoa, okay, that was close. They're all chasing me. Okay, getting the fruits to sort of refill everything. Definitely seems to be worth it for the most part. Well, let's go for knockouts. Gotcha. I don't know what this red one's gonna do. Okay, the red one's dangerous. Note to self, don't do that. <laughs> All right, well, there goes my run. But we did it, we got to the top 30. We were like 28 there, I think. Very cool, well, no, we were 30. That's still top 30. I'll take it, very cool. Okay then, so let's go for it. Um, so yeah, I did look up the names of each ghost. The red one is Blinky, the pink one is Pinky, the blue one is Inky, and then the orange one is Clyde. So I don't know why there's like a theme there, but then the orange one, I want to stand out a little bit more. Doesn't have a rhyming name. I respect that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that and pick up some of these extra ghosts. So I guess the best way to do that, no, turn right. See, sometimes I keep trying to turn right and I turn up. And I think that's just like, you know, the analog stick just not being the best at times. And I'm, I'm using a pro controller. So maybe actually, now that I think about this, this is probably a really good game for Joy-Cons more than the pro controller. Okay, um, hold on. There we go. Let's get this guy. There you go. I like how it does have like a nice timer on there to show you exactly how much time you have left with this. Whoa, and I went right now. Okay, that one was, I goofed that one super hard. Yikes. Okay, this one for real. We know all the ghost names, which means we must be able to defeat them, right? <laughs> we know their true personalities. Um, but yeah, each one does do something a little bit different. Um, they sort of work better as a team, as far as I remember, in the way that like some of them will try to cut you off. Some of them will try to, uh, you know, just speed up past you, all that kind of stuff. So when they're together is when you really want to start avoiding them because they will try to close in on you in ways that uh, you might not be able to handle. Okay, got all that. I'm waiting for some more fruit to pop up. We don't want to hit the fruit right away. Cause then if we hit the fruit and then eat everything, don't really have, whoa, see, I thought I went to the left there. I keep doing that. It's really tough. Um, Let's grab that, go down this way. I'm gonna pick up this pellet and we're gonna get a ton of stuff here. Come on, catch up to him. 
but there was also a newer Pac-Man game that was released a couple years ago, and I think a sequel as well, called like Pac-Man Champion Tournament Edition, something like that. And it's really cool, because it's like traditional Pac-Man, but it's also really exciting and fast-paced. I remember playing it a little bit when it came out, and I really liked it. Um, oh no, oh darn, that is, that is the opposite of getting worse with every round. I thought I had a little bit more time there. Yikes, I just, I might want to switch to Joy-Cons real quick or something, because just the turning on the directional pad with this controller actually isn't that great. I keep on going the ways I don't intend to. Okay, so I did take the time to look up what the things on the left do because they're a little confusing. And from what I've seen, I think I figured it out. Um, basically, we're in standard mode right now, which is typically how Pac-Man is played. Nothing really all too different here. But what we can do is switch over to, say, Stronger. And what Stronger is gonna do is make it so that every time we send a ghost or like a little Pac-Man thing over to opponents, which we just did, um, every time that happens, those are gonna be, like there's gonna be more of them, I guess. It's just gonna be like a stronger effect, I suppose. The downside is that your power pellet uh, timing is shorter. Now with speed, you pick one up and we go much faster, which I think is something that can be useful if you can keep up with it. If not, you're sending yourself hurtling into a ghost. Um, there we go. So a little bit of time with this one. But having that extra speed is certainly useful at times. Uh, there we go. I think I'm going to switch over to train. And I think what train does, as far as I could tell, um, is those little, these little trains right here. Is that when you do this, I guess maybe these trains are more effective or maybe they definitely look longer to me. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna guess what it is. Is that the trains get much longer. What is going on? I'm trying to, this is something I'm not doing so well with is the controls of the game. So I wonder if switching to speed right now would actually do anything. I don't know, I think it only matters, oh my. But then, yeah, that's sort of all of them. Uh, that's all four of them. I think for the most part, I'm sticking to train. So I think having more ghosts that I can destroy sounds great to me. Okay, got that no problem. I'm gonna try to sneak over like that. And there's already only 50 remaining. Let's try to get rid of them. I'm trying to keep a good eye on the center of the screen so I can know exactly when my power pot runs out, the ghosts are chasing me. Visually, it gets a little confusing to keep up with. Tried to psych out the one ghost there. Oh my, oh my, red one's hot on my trail. Okay, now they're in trouble. Now I'm turning on them. Let's grab all that, then I'm going this way. Then I got the speed. So like, I think that's where the real skill comes in here, is trying to, oh. Oh, you actually get extra time out of hitting a bunch of ghosts. That's cool. Um, so I'm back to standard now. I don't know if that's the best idea or not. Maybe I should go to speed. Yeah, I think it's too late for speed because I just switched over and I'm not going any faster. Okay, now we got those red ones. Remember, they, oh, they're gonna go for me too. That's scary, I don't like that. Uh, No, you don't, no, you don't. I need to, no, I got cornered. I got cornered by a, what was it? A Blinky and Inky. I don't know, Blinky and Inky got me, but it felt pretty stinky. Anyways, we got to rank five, we got to figure out the mechanics of the game. I've got this 20 second place. That's really not too bad for my first couple of games, I don't think. So yeah, pretty cool, I'd love to hear what is your best placement in this game so far? How have you been doing with it? All the good stuff. But I think we're gonna leave it at that for now. Um, lots of fun, Pac-Man 99, just like Tetris 99 and Mario 35, really fun times. And like I said, if you guys wanna see more, maybe we can buy the um, like little pack that it has and unlocks more stuff. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.